Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent bringing you episode 41 of Let's Play Stranger of Sword City Revisited. Uh, it has been a while since I played. I'm going to go ahead and turn this down. Um, let's see. 918, well, and then before that it was seven days. And now, today is the 25th or 6th, so another week. It's been a while. Um, I remember we were doing the Mausoleum of Flames, I believe it's called. Let's see how our characters are recovering. Memorial is good to go. One hour of recovering for Lily. Catella has a white lance. Does that? Oh man, I forget all the buttons. Whoops. Um, F item description. It does attack immortals. Okay. Um, Saya is using the guitar. Ariana is using the fire sling when it hits. <clears throat> but yeah, today we're probably going to go back to the Mausoleum of Flames. And try our luck there. Uh, I want to add Catella back to the party. Uh, Mariana. Let's go ahead and remove Mariana and add Catella. Um, and do the order. Something like that. So let's look at Catella. We haven't seen her in a while. Do we have any equipment? Alright, we've got our party ready. Let's go to the shop and see if we have anything to sell. We don't. Um, let's go ahead and use a couple piety crystals. Piety crystal on Ashibi. And how about a luck crystal on Matthias? And a Vitality Crystal, also on Matthias. That's what I want to do for now. Um, do we have any money to power up? We do, but I was kind of saving it, so I am going to save it. Let's go ahead and make a new save. Right here. Alright, so, in order to do this, let's see, we're going to have to make a run from the Valley Stone, and it's not easy. Okay, I'm just getting my buttons right. Um, the map is this way. Alright, we want to head here. So we'll let it auto move us. And yeah, uh, I really want to make progress in this game. I know party took the first move. He does some pretty good damage with Gilius's guitar. Okay. 
But yeah, um, I'm a lot of episodes ahead on YouTube, but I figure the more I do, the more I can eventually put out, and the closer I can get to finishing this game, which uh, I would love to do, not anytime soon, I mean, I'm still greatly enjoying it, but uh, I would like to make some progress. you assault slash the back row? Yes, do that. Fight this guy. You fight this guy. You assassinate that guy. Fight and defend. Just have to get a little bit back into the swing of things. Okay, these guys are level 22 and we're missing a whole lot. bit better. Nice. That was wave one. Oh. Is that a rare enemy, did it say? Crawler? I don't know, but... Uh, we may want a multi-hit. Hey. Yeah. Go ahead. Do a multi-hit. You clock up and fight. You assassinate. Um, you also throw a multi-hit down and you... can defend. Oh, I forgot about this. Shot, shot, shot his flame breath. Not big damage or anything. Wow, nice. Okay, let's uh, salt slash the hopworms. Fight that thing. Fight that thing. Assassinate that thing. Fight that thing and defend. Fireball, 61 damage. Not doing major damage. That was pretty good damage. Wow, they have a lot of HP. Out of HP, they're level 28. Oh, we have divinities. Okay, let's actually use them. Um, let's use a s sky dragon. Fight, fight, clock up, fight, assassinate that one. Fight. Wait, don't assassinate that one. Assassinate that one. Fight that one. Defend. Nice, one hit kill. Nice. This is one hack heck of a wave two. Wait, um Divinity Sky Dragon. I don't wanna go into a whatever that skill is called where you just fight it until it hits you. Because it probably hits pretty hard. Attack with the giant scythe, 23 damage, 71, 5. Alright, let's. Sky Dragon, fight, fight, clock up and fight, assassinate, 
um, you go ahead and high cure Saya. You defend. Oh. Cool. Not bad. <clears throat> Salt slash the poison flies. Fight. Fight. Assassinate that one. Fight and defend. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, that was nice too. Can't attack back there. So apparently, my knowledge has is coming back to me slowly. As I start off with a bang, a free waiver. And uh, they're going to be gentle on us and just give us a couple of fighters to fight against. This should be pretty easy. Nice. Catella is still hidden. Lobbyl. Or Lobbyl didn't use any MP that time, and Saya leveled up. 11,000 XP. Big axe and two corpse pieces. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel. Oh, we're here. Cool. Let's go ahead and level up Saya. <coughs> She can do with another point of piety herself. HP by four, MP by two. She has to go to spell. Saya has a bit of everything. So if I go ahead and use a piety crystal, I'd like to use on Saya. All right, let's head in. Hopefully we don't have to fight that wave that we did on the elevator. Hopefully this takes us right to our destination this time. I think it will. Yep. No surprises. Cool, here we are, the Mausoleum of Flames. Alright, what is the... Hot key for the map. M? Tab? Yeah, tab. Alright. So, if I figure this out right, we'll want to open these main gates as quickly as possible. So we have to open this one by heading probably through here. So let's just quickly get up here. And, uh... If I had to guess, it was somewhere up here. There's a sign of fierce enemies. Bamboo offering. Nice. Hmm. Oh dear. Ugh. Zombie workers, zombie workers, and fighter heads. These things are tanky. Um. And this is probably going to take a while. We could... Test out with a firebolt. Yeah. 
doesn't hurt to paralyze them, whatever that does. Pickaxe, dodge the attack. 39 damage. Fireball seems to work well against them. Okay, so let's see how damaged they are. Okay, not too bad. We got a little bit of damage through. Go ahead and Sky Dragon. Soul Slash that row. Attack. Attack. Assassinate. These are level 25. Um, I wanted you to Fire Blast that row. Four damage. Knocked him unconscious though, which is pretty nice. So this is just going to take a while. Um, salt Slash. Fight. Clock up and fight. Assassinate. Uh, Sacred Light that one, and Fire Blast that row again. <laughs> 206 damage, not bad for 5 MP. Hopefully we have some MP restoring items, I should have, should start buying them. Killed one, 165 damage. Ah. You know what, just fight. Uh, hike here on Saya. Fire blast on them. Assassinate. Hike here on Saya. And Fire blast him again. Oh, one high cure is all that was needed. Okay. So they can unleash powerful of uh effects. Powerful attacks. And MP also restores as we walk, which I'm pretty sure is a feature. Rush. Um, can Sky Dragon again anyway. Let's see how... Oof. Oh well, Salt Slash. Cure yourself. Fight. Assassinate. Fight. Defend. Four hundred fifteen damage, nice. All right, this is where it could get dangerous. Salt slash. They're pretty well weakened. Assassinate that one. Fight that one. Defend. Attack. Let's go 
go ahead and Sky Dragon fight. High cure on yourself. Fight. Assassinate. Or assassination is really game changing. Whew. 8600 XP. We have some level ups coming. Okay, we removed another bolt. I don't want to fully map. Oh, there's another bolt. So I guess we go through this way. Bottle and pretty object. I forget what these things are. I don't know if they're how dangerous they are. And obviously I don't even know what level they are. I could do something that brings light to them. Well that works. So is that. Flame breath. Oh, are these fireflies? Still unknowns. Nice. We'd be lost without Catella. Mariana cannot produce that kind of damage. Alright. Hideo, level up. Let's go ahead and get another point of piety. HP by 15, MP by 2, learn force hit. Increases all allies hit by two effective only in the labyrinth. So it lasts for the entire labyrinth, which is really nice. Oh no. Huh. I'll be. This is locked, right? Well, where in the heck do I go? This is most strange. Feeling good playing it again, though. Feels like I should be playing it more. Hmm. I guess let's go through this door. And go somewhere over here. some MP recovery. Oh, there's a fight right here. Oof. I don't mind the fighter head so much, but these guys are pretty rough. But, uh, but uh, I feel much better going at it with Catella, that's for sure. Nothing against Mariana. She has right abilities for the right times. Void increased? Oh no. Fighter heads, right? Yeah. Alright, you go ahead and cast Cure on Saya. Go ahead and fire blast that row. And assassinate this thing. Uh let's 
seven. Fire blast then. They're a little bit higher level, so they have more HP. More, um... Mysterious Shadows have recovered. They have more evasion. Wow, but they're casting Cure. And they're zombies yet. We don't want to waste all our MP. Let's just defend that time. Man, that thing's still not dead. Maybe this time it'll go down. Yes. Flying objects casting cure. Those aren't flying heads. Those are cleric heads. Good gravy, we've got to get rid of them. Fight the fighter head. Can you assassinate the cleric head? Go for it. Sacred light on the cleric head. Can you test out a fireball on that cleric head? Oh, it didn't reach. It didn't tell me it wouldn't reach. I should have known better though. 207 damage. Wow, those cleric heads are a real pain. You just assassinate that one. You can afford another sacred light, so take... No, we don't need to sacred light them. You fight. You defend. So if it works like I'm hoping... Oh, miss. There we go, that's what I was banking on. Ooh, 4 eight. Four damage took that fighter head out. You assault slash them. You fight. You fight. I wonder if it'll reach. Uh, just assassinate, attack, defend. That works. and get a black wall up. Kind of understanding the importance more of variety in how we approach things, whereas when I used to play, I seem more like uh, doing the same things over and over again, even if they weren't as effective. So now I'm kind of trying to mix it up a bit. Try different strategies and techniques. So far, it seems to be working really well. Oh. I should take this one out if we get lucky. Hmm. Nice. That works. 80,000 XP and a corpse piece. Hey, they don't notice something. Seems like you can hide here. Okay. Hiding wouldn't be the worst idea. Is this a triple dipper? Oh, please say it ain't so. I don't even know if we could survive a triple dip. But 
we have to find. Yeah, I don't even know if we can handle it. Triple dip. We have to find the, uh... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think this is a triple dip, too. Let's just fight. Try to get this over with. And see if more come. I couldn't tell exactly. But it looked like a triple. It has like no life left. It is a triple. Oh, wow. Well, Carnage front the cleric head. Wait, first let's Divinity, Sky Dragon, just Assault Slash them, High Q yourself, Assassinate the Fighter Head, Sacred Light, and Fire Blast on the Clerics. Nice. Called an ally cleric head. Son of a gun. Attack. Fight. Assassinate. Sacred light on that cleric head. Fireball on that cleric head. <laughs> Good gravy. Yeah, we need to find that. Um, just do a carnage front on that cleric head and don't worry about it. Do a soul blast. Good. Cleric heads died. Shibi is unconscious. Carnage front these things. If we can find the warp stone or whatever, we can skip all this. Stuff we have to fight. Oh dear. I cure Matthias, assassinate, fight. We're doing okay. This is the second wave. Hopefully they have some pity on us for the third wave. These guys are gonna be stupid high level. Level 32 fighter heads, wow. Another high cure in Matthias. Assassinate. Sacred Light. Fire Blast. Less damage. Sacred Light 236, nice. <laughs> Won't hurt to paralyze them. Powerful strike. 228. Yeah, bring us back the heads. Um Sky Dragon. Salt Slash. 
Alright, Kira Matthias, assassinate. Just throw a high cure on a Shibi too. And you continue to fire blast the back row. They're more dangerous. Although these are dangerous too, don't get me wrong. Like so. I should throw up a holy light and hope that a Shibi gets off this high cure before they do. And you get a high cure on a Shibi. And you fire blast the back row again. Nice. Shibi's unconscious. They're rushing every turn. Salt Slash. Assassination. High Cure on a Shibi. Soul Blast. Those guys. Mm. Very little damage. Oh, dear gravy. At least we're getting some HP back. Salt Slash. High Cure on Matthias. We're running out of MP, though. I really hope this is the last... Uh, I really hope that, um... The Warp Stone... Is around here somewhere. Is there a lesser one I can use for MP? I should really start buying items. Black Sweets. Cool, we can just fight this guy, get him out of there. She can't assassinate anymore, but that's okay. You throw a firebolt on him so he doesn't call any more friends. Alright, we definitely need a Sky Dragon. Salt Slash. Fight. 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 Fire Blast. We really gotta take at least one out. Paralyze them, whatever. Maybe paralyzation means they can't use their special attacks, which I'm completely fine with, of course. Throw a high gear on Catella. Fire blast him again. Dang, she can't miss her white lance attack. That's too powerful for us. Oh, Matthias is dead. Oh, jeez. We just cannot withstand power that these things have. Holy Light still appears to be going. 
No, get the guaranteed kill. <sighs> Ike here on a Shibi. This is pushing us to our absolute limits. And then some. It's breaking our limits. Tell is dead. The only way to damage this thing. Oh, Sacred Light will work. Alright, it's dead. Wow. How much XP? 15,000. Found a treasure box, two dragon balls. I knew there was something back here. Do I dare? Grimy tablet is partially buried in the ground. There isn't any writing, but rather an ominous design etched into its surface. You don't understand its meaning, but looking at it is enough to give you chills. Really? But no... Way forward. So we're decimated. It's another run where we did not find the warp stone. But, I mean, we made progress. We found that tablet, whatever that is. And we, uh... Explored more of the mine itself. So that when we get a fully powerful run, as we level up and get stronger and stuff, we'll be able to get in there and get that warp stone, wherever it may be. So I'm pleased with that run. Let's see what we got. Saw her. Battle Axe, Shiny Big Shell, Small Ice Vial, Pretty Stone, White Bone. Alright. Well, unfortunately... 4,800 crystals as we were... How much would it be to instant revive her? 7,500. Wow. So, um... Again, we're down to the nitty-gritty. Oh, Lily's good to go. Let's grab Lily. And, uh... Heavy Sling. And I guess Mariana? It's not the strongest party, but we're going to do what we can. Um, we can at least sell our trade items for 142. And the battle axe for 356. Man, we were saving that money up, but that's what happens. No big deal. Easy come, easy go. Although it wasn't easy come. <laughs> Well, certainly easy go, though. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Order. I guess it's going to be Matthias, Lily, Ashibi, Mariana, Hideo, Labiel. So this is the place we're supposed to be, I think, on our level, so we just have to make it work. Uh, I'm not going to try to save any more money. I'm just going to go ahead and power up. So let's power some stuff up. How about the Master Buckler? Goes to 19 defense. Let's 
assassin mass goes to nine defense. Heal ring goes to six defense. Tights go to nine defense. Magical hat goes to ten defense. Magical tights go to eight defense. Circlet goes to seven. Changer's badge goes to 9 defense. Now 1500 for weapons. Let's go. Takes it from 94 to 97. Twenty-five to twenty-six. You know what? Let's get these bucklers. Okay, that goes up two to twenty-one. And this goes up one. To add some more defense because defense matters. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Let's see how long we've been playing for. Long enough, over 30 minutes or so. So I want to say thank you for joining me. It wasn't a bad run. Uh, we're able to power up a bit. Um, we're able to know that we can handle a triple in there, kind of. Uh, but it, it led to a place we don't have to really go back to anytime soon. I thought it would lead to maybe the Warp Stone. But now we know that the Warp Stone's not there, so we can explore other parts of the mine to find the Warp Stone. So, I'm not too beat up about it. We explored more of the mine. We know where to go next time. Success in my eyes. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Much love, peace, and joy. See you next time.